Before he turned 23, he already had three Ballon d'Ors in the bag. And yet, it's crazy to think how a decade back, no one in the country wanted to sign him. Lionel Messi is one of the greatest in the world now, but his journey to the top was far from easy. Messi was born in Rosario, Argentina on the 24th of June, 1987. His parents Jorge and Cecilia weren't that well-to-do, so from early on, it was a struggle. His love for the game, though, was thanks to the influence of another relative in his family, his grandma. After realizing just how good her grandson was, she made it her duty to ensure Messi had a future in the game. From pressuring his parents to get him football boots to signing him up for the first team he ever played for, Grandoli FC. Now, the story behind his first team is unique. The club had a local game in the neighborhood, and with the team losing at halftime, the coach didn't want to put Messi in because he felt he was too small. But his grandma pressured him into doing so, and in the second half, a four-year-old Messi made the difference and made the team from that point on. Now, you'd think with the difference he made that early on, they'd have done everything to keep who they called the next Maradona stay. But months later, Messi was out. His family and the team had a huge fallout that made Messi quit the team. And with the talent he'd already shown, Messi was on the lookout for his next club. And these guys helped him make history. Newell's old boys. And it was here Messi's career came into the spotlight. Messi didn't just play for these guys, he broke records with them. His numbers are amazing. See, a couple of years back, Miguel Martinez, a former press officer for Rosario Football Association, made it his mission to find out the exact numbers Messi put up at Newell's Old Boys, and the results were astonishing. In his five-year stay at the club, from 1994 to 1999, Messi scored an incredible 234 goals in 176 games. He was six in his first year and scored 40 goals in 29 games. When I was six, I couldn't even lace my shoes properly. In his final year in 1999, he'd hit an incredible 55 goals in 29 games. My math isn't that good, but those numbers are stacking up pretty nicely. Messi's goals fired the team to wins. They even went an entire season unbeaten. Messi's talent had made him one of the most exciting young players in the country. And at that point, he had a lot of big European teams coming to check him out and profile him. But pretty soon, all of that changed after the news that almost ruined his life. Messi got diagnosed with growth hormone disease, and it was so bad that his career wasn't the only thing on the line. His life was at stake too. The doctors did give him a way out. They told Messi and his family that there was a treatment for his disease, but the cost of getting the injections needed to treat him was way more than their payroll. They turned to the clubs that had been making advances on him, but in a flash, they all disappeared. But just when it looked like all hope was gone, one club came in to save the day and made Messi a deal to save his life. Barcelona. They'd seen Messi's talent, and despite his condition that was threatening his life, wanted to sign him. The deal they made to Messi was simple. In exchange to get him the injections needed to cure his disease, they wanted Messi to come over to La Masia and join the academy. Messi said yes, and like that, the journey was on. At La Masia, Messi was by far the biggest talent they'd seen in years, but he still had a few issues he had to deal with, and the first one was that he was small. Compared to the other kids his age, Messi was so little, they named him the Atomic Flea. But if anything, it made his dribbling even better. Thanks to how small he was, he could easily glide past players like they weren't there. Messi made his official youth team debut on April 7, 2001, and from that moment, his rise to the top was rapid. And in 2003, Messi made his debut for La Blaugrana. But this one won't be complete without mentioning his epic 2003-04 season, the one where he played for five teams at a go. He played for the Barcelona Under-19B team, the Under-19A team, Barcelona C and B, plus that friendly with the senior team. 
In total, Messi hit 35 goals in all competitions across the youth level, and by the turn of the following campaign, it was all about preparing him for proper professional football. Barcelona's manager at the time, Frank Rijkaard, he heard about Messi and had been watching him in training too. So when he saw the kid up close, he moved him to start training with the first team, gave him a run in the senior team in the league, and on the last day of the season, Messi scored his first official goal for the club. Ronaldinho on the assist too! Iconic! Just as his club career was on the rise, his international one became a topic of discussion too. The Spanish national team had approached him with an offer to come and play for them, but Messi said no because he had his heart set on representing the country of his birth. And in the Under-20 World Cup Finals that year, Messi stole the show. Finished the tournament as the best player with six goals, including scoring in every stage of the knockout phase. And when he returned, he was no longer that shy young kid from Rosario at La Masia. Messi was now a proper talent. Messi continued to work his way up the game and impress. By 2008, he was already making the shortlist for the top three best players in the world. And one year later, after winning an incredible six trophies with Barcelona, Messi was officially named as the best baller in the world. The start of dominance and the first of four in a row. He won the award again in 2010 and 2011. And after that record-breaking campaign in 2012, 91 goals in a calendar, breaking all sorts of club records along the way too. At that point, from an award perspective, he had already conquered club football. So when 2014 rolled around the corner, he had his eyes set on his dream trophy, the one that meant the most to him, the World Cup. Messi balled hard in the tournament. His four goals helped Argentina reach the final against Germany in Brazil. But it just wasn't meant to be. With less than 10 minutes of extra time to play, they conceded a late goal and lost it. In 2015, Messi teamed up with Luis Suarez and Neymar to form the MSN. He had already had some pretty iconic trios in his years at the club, like the ones with Samuel Eto'o and Thierry Henry in 2009, or the MVP with David Villa and Pedro in 2011. But the guys from 2015 were out of this world. Over 120 goals scored in all competitions that campaign. Messi did the bulk of the work. He was the top scorer from Barcelona in both the Champions League and La Liga, as they won the treble that year. His second with the club, a fifth Ballon d'Or followed later in the year, but on the international scene, it was still more heartbreak. He lost the Copa America Finals back-to-back -back with Argentina, against the same opponents Chile. Add this to a 2018 World Cup Round of 16 exit versus France and a third place finish in the Copa America the next year, and Messi's wait for an international trophy seemed like it would never end. That was until the summer of 2021, when he finally did it. Captain of the Argentina team that won the first major trophy in 28 years. Still though, it seemed like Messi couldn't catch a break. Something good came along, and something bad followed suit. He left Barcelona for free in tears. But maybe that was the price fate wanted him to pay, because just one year later, he won the big one the World Cup with Argentina, and this ultimately cemented his status as the greatest of all time. After the World Cup win, Messi switched clubs in 2023 and decided to play with his current team, Inter Miami, and he's leading a charge in the US to get his new team to the top. Messi's career stats tell everything you need to know about the man. Barcelona's all-time top scorer, with 672 goals and 303 assists in 778 games, 32 goals and 35 assists in 75 games for PSG, 25 goals and 16 assists in 29 games for Inter Miami, 108 goals for Argentina to make him the country's all-time top scorer. I mean, these are video game numbers the boy from Rosario put out. Now, Messi's given hints that after Inter Miami, that it might be it for him. He's already finished football and is playing free mode now, enjoying life and watching videos on Goalzone. 